freedom of fascism of Aaron Russo woke me up really well. Uh, and since then, I've just been kind of dabbling, and now I'm, I'm really going full at it right now. I don't. I, I left my my company recently, and and so as part. But of see, my right there is an example. People wouldn't listen to us yeah. 10 years ago or 20 years ago. Now they listen right. because everything we talked about is now coming true. Sir, uh, what's your question for Robert Galen Ross? I, I, I Sadly, I, I don't have a question for him directly. I, well, that's I fine. You're on air. Go ahead and make your point. Okay. I, I, don't, I don't have a point. I have a question. I, I saw a recent video about bracelets with microchips on them that are supposedly attached to your wrist. And I just have a question about this because... It seems recent, and I haven't really been keeping up, but this is something. Can you describe this more to me about the bracelets on the wrist? In fact, we'll uh, play that. Uh, guys, just YouTube the term taser bracelets. Homeland Security was proposing, and they, they, and Homeland Security Board said, we think it's a good idea for every American, five year old child, 80 year old woman, you know, 50 year old black guy, 20 year old white guy, everybody to wear a taser bracelet. It's like the running man, almost around our neck, but around your wrist. Guilty until proven innocent. They've got the naked body scanners uh, going in airports. Houston has them. You march your kids through. The government records their body on tape. Uh, Robert Galen Ross, your uh, comment on the taser bracelets. Well, it's uh, it's just probably short of uh, the next move to implant a, uh, uh, a sensor within your skin, uh, within your wrist. By the way, that's in the health care bill. Right. And and the point of that is uh, they can tell where you are at any time. Uh, they can link it to money so that if you are if you get out of line, they they, do, they shut off your uh, sensor so that you can't spend money. So it, uh, that's the long range plan is to have some mechanism to absolutely control everything you do and know where you are at all times. And it was two weeks before Tom broke off, and I appreciate your call from the Philippines, Dan. Good to have you on board. God bless you. Um, it was right before Dan, uh, Tom Brokaw retired. Right before Tom Brokaw. It was Tom Brokaw. And I've got the tape around here somewhere, and they were talking about Fallujah, where they have these checkpoints all around it, and you're given your ID card, and if you're ever caught without the ID card, you're killed on the spot. And he said it straight-faced, on NBC News, Tom Brokaw, he said, and if they're caught without their car, they are executed. And that's the system. That's right. Stay there. We'll do one more segment with our guests. Take a few more calls. Stay with us. Hello, friends. This is Alex Jones here to tell you about Cal Ben Soap. My staff and I just love the old-fashioned, pure, handmade soap produced by the Cal Ben Soap Company, a family-owned and operated American company that's over 62 years old. Go to 5starsoaps.com or click on their link at infowars.com. They have been a longtime sponsor of ours. Calvin Soaps meet the highest standards of quality, purity, and value. Everyone should use their great line of products. I consistently hear from my listeners and friends how much they love the Calvin Pure Soap products. Check out their whole line of bath, hair, laundry, and dish soap and more at 5starsoap.com. There is nothing like these factory direct, big money saving, triple concentrated soaps anywhere. Don't take my word for it. Get a free detailed catalog by calling toll-free 1-800-340-7091 or check them out online at 5starsoap.com. Again, go to 5starsoap.com and just try their products. You're going to love them. You will never use anything else again. He's got a lot of new stuff at his uh, website, 4rie.com. You can also get some of his books and materials at infowars.com. He's got something new, Who's Who of the Elite by Robert Galen Ross. They don't dare let us tell the people. It's a computer program, uh, and it's got uh, the entire background on the elites, the Trilateral Commission, Bilderberg, Skull and Bones, Council on Foreign Relations, 13,795 elite members in 58 nations. He's got stuff like the first minutes of the first Bilderberg meeting on here, really powerful uh, material available, and his new book coming out in two weeks, What the Elite Have Done to America and how to fix it. Uh, let's take a few final calls for him. Uh, Jock in California, you're on the air. Go ahead. Alex, it's a pleasure uh, to be on with you, and it was so great to, ha uh, to hear Charlie Sheen on your show yesterday. And um, since President Obama won't talk with Charlie about his 20 points on 9-11 or even acknowledge his letter, and since Popular Mechanics won't debate him live on his 20 points, and Larry King won't have him on, 
And no other major talk show will have Charlie on. I guess it's down to Meghan McCain, who said on The View on September 10th that she wouldn't take Charlie's political advice because of his experience with prostitutes. Um, Meghan um, is ignoring Charlie's challenge to debate him as well as everybody else. Uh, but she has a blog called McCain Blogette, um, where anyone can comment. And I just wondered if uh, it would be interesting if a million patriots uh, wrote comments in them. Yeah, no, that's a good idea. People should go to Obama's press conferences. They should go to his press secretary's comments. I mean, when when Charlie goes to the restaurant, it gets on TV. Okay, but here he is saying, I'm ready to go on TV to debate you guys. It'll get huge ratings. They won't touch it because he has the facts. He has the evidence. He has those 20 bullet points. And so the answer to their censorship is to only spread the material. I'm going to talk about it in the next segment even more. To get the material, to get the 20 minutes with the president, to get his video message at the top of Infowars.com, the 20 minutes with the president area, and to get it out to everyone. I appreciate uh, your call. Let's take another call here. Uh, let's talk to Terry in Indiana. Terry, you're on the air. Uh, hi, Alex. Thanks for taking my call. Yes, sir. Um, I, I want to talk to you about uh, the uh, statement that Jimmy Carter made today. Uh, I mean, uh, as an African-American, whether you made it yesterday or today, the, his comment is outrageous. You know, to make it seem like that uh, you would only have to be a white person or a racist in order to disagree with Obama. I see this. Yeah, exactly. He's using he's using the race card. And I'll hold you over because I want to talk about this. I want to be able to say about a Robert. But that's exactly what goes on here is they're saying to everybody, you're not allowed to be against anything Obama does or you're a racist. They're they're playing a race card brutally and viciously and coldly, knowing that's not what it's about, and actually creating racial division. And it's it's doing that successfully. Stay there, Terry. I'm going to come back to you after the break. But I want to be able to say bye to Robert here at the end. Robert, your comment on this, is this a desperation move? Uh, they will try anything in order to reach their goal. and uh, and, and But you can't. Uh, really interpret what they're saying because they use a lot of use a lot of disinformation, and so there's there's always a motive behind what they're doing, but it's not an apparent one. But the majority of white Americans voted for Obama. His approval rating has dropped by thirty something points because he lied about everything. And but I saw a segment. Uh, someone emailed me a, a, a long talk. It was on YouTube by this. Uh, black preacher that he says look out don't trust these guys one of these days the white guys are going to come up and they're going to uh riot riot and uh this comes from, from a, a black preacher so well look they put obama in there to make it about race they put him in there to create division if if he was a black guy that was trying to end the federal reserve they'd assassinate him that's right just like if he was a white guy they'd assassinate him and that's the issue. So it's meant to be this big political football. And I agree with uh, Terry, who we're going to come back to you after the break. I just want to be able to say bye to you. Robert, great job on the new book. I've scanned over it. It's excellent. This is an advanced copy, the official cover. It's going to have a green cover. Right. And what the elite have done to America and how to fix it. You can get it at his website, 4RIE.com. And uh, in the last 30 seconds we've got left, is there a toll-free number folks can call or a it's, number? Uh, it's 800-410-5571. One more time. 800-410-5571. Or for anybody that wants to uh, interview you, they can also call that number. That's correct. We look forward to talking to you again soon. Another fellow Central Texan fighting the New World Order. Um, and again, we're just all evil racist here. We don't want them putting sodium fluoride in the water, and that's because we're racist.